Hey guys, it's Ben with the Pokemon Connection. Uh, so, recently Alex and Michael have started a weekly th thing that they will do every week, hence the term weekly. Um, so I figured I should do one, seeing as I don't want to be left out. Um, and I don't want to feel like the third wheel, so yeah, and yes. So, uh, before I get in to what my weekly thing is, just a few announcements. Um, so, regarding my red walkthrough, uh, even though I said in part three that I was trying to upload more consistently, uh, I haven't been. I've been really lazy about uploading, uh, but that reason is because school started on the 8th, I want to say, no, the 7th. So yeah, school started on the 7th, so I've been getting homework and stuff. So I haven't really had the time. Well, actually, no, I have had the time. I just completely forgot. So, yeah, I will try to um get videos up on the weekends. Not sure when I'm going to have time during the week, just because I have weekly stuff going on. Uh, So, yeah. And also, um, I was thinking maybe doing, like, sort of a side thing like I don't know if any of you guys know of the Pokemon trading card game game for the Game Boy Color I mean like it was an alright game and I would be willing to do a walkthrough of it but I just don't know if I'll be able to get it up while still getting my red videos up so I might wait till red is done then just do a short walkthrough of uh, the Pokemon card game I actually never finished it, like, so I don't know how long it is. Um, I beat, like, the first three places with, like, the card masters or whatever. I'm not really sure of all the terminology. But anyway, so, getting to my weekly thing, I am going to be doing a weekly, um, discussion. Just, like, it's not going to be a rant. Well, sometimes it is on stuff I don't like. But I will just choose a topic every week and sort of discuss about it. Um, and I would like your input as well. Like, in the bottom, whatever topic I'm talking about. Uh, give me your opinion on the, on the matter. So, yeah. The topic I chose to start with was, um... Oh, what was it? Oh, yeah. Hoenn. Not, like, yeah. Um, so, I'm gonna start off. This is kind of regarding the new games. Um, which I will do in another discussion. But I just need to make a short little reference to it. Because, yeah. So, with the new black and white coming out, to me, it's not that appealing. The Pokemon don't look like Pokemon. The 2D ratio doesn't really mix well with the 3D ratio so far in what I've seen. Um, yeah, the Pokemon don't look like Pokemon, so I would have been happy with a Hoenn remake. That's what I've been waiting for. Um, I know a lot of people don't really particularly like Hoenn. Um, for me, it was probably my favorite region, because it just brought so much more new things that I really liked. Um, except for maybe Wurmple. <laughs> um, not the biggest fan of Wurmple. Um, yeah. I would have been happy with the Hoenn remake. Um, they could do some graphical enhancements. Graphical? Is that a word? I don't know. It is now. So, anyway. Um, word of the day. Graphical. Um, so, yeah. They could have maybe, like, added some new moves. Uh, I would have been fine with not adding any new Pokemon. I would have been perfectly content with a Hoenn remake. Um, yeah. And maybe some new character designs, I don't know, maybe some new plot twists. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in my Red Walkthrough Part 3. I'm pretty sure I did, maybe not, maybe I cut it out. But, um, maybe a new storyline idea would be when Nurse Joy takes your Pokemon to heal them. Turns out she's a rocket agent or something, or aqua agent, magma agent. Uh, and she takes your Pokemon for a period of the game, so yeah, you're forced to actually use another Pokemon than your main party to get them back. 
I'm yeah. If, if you guys like that idea, you know, tell me. Uh, I always thought it was kind of cool. It was kind of like first idea I ever had for a storyline. Um, when I actually first played through Hoenn, that's why it came into my mind right now. Um, by the way, this isn't scripted. I'm just saying whatever comes to my head. So yeah. Uh, moving on. I think, in my opinion, Hoenn had some of the best. Pokemon legendaries, not like stat wise. I'm not talking about stat wise. I'm talking about just I like them. I, I like the way they look, and yeah. In fact, my favorite Pokemon came from this region. Um, it is a starter. Yeah, I know you're probably gonna like hate on me, like saying starters suck and stuff, but it's uh, Torchic slash Blaziken. Those are my favorite Pokemon. Uh, not so much Combusken. Um, but yeah, Blaziken was uh, my favorite Pokemon ever since I laid eyes on it. My best Pokemon is Blaziken. I have a level 100 Blaziken. And it has... Uh, I'm pretty sure it has better stats than my other level 100. I only have one other. Yeah, I suck. Uh, um, the, my uh, one other level 100 is Gengar. Which uh, I half copied Michael on the move set, but he also copied the move set from uh this other guy. But it's like first you use hypnosis, then nightmare, then dream eater. And you have one move on the side. He had Shadow Ball, but I chose Dark Pulse instead. I'm not sure why. Just because I wanted a little bit of originality. I don't know. But wow, I <laughs> got really off topic there. Uh the topic is Hoenn. I need to stay with Hoenn. So anyway um, more on Hoenn. I liked the storyline through it, like, how you have to get the goggles before you get through the, um, through, through the desert. I really liked that desert, how they included a desert, and how you could run into Pokemon in the sand, and the tower where you got the fossil. Not sure what it's called. I also liked the gym leaders. Flannery is my favorite gym leader. Um... I also liked Wallace, and I liked Steven, and I liked Metagross, or Metagross, however however you want to say it. Uh, I just overall liked those games the best. I also liked the Battle Frontier better in Emerald than I did in, say, Platinum or Heart Gold Soul Silver. I liked those better. Um, I'm not saying I don't like the other games. They are great games. I just liked the Hoenn regions the best. And the two teams, Magma and Aqua. Aqua was my favorite because Sapphire was the first one I got. Um, actually, it was the only one I got. No, I got Emerald. Got Emerald. Uh, but yeah, I liked Team Aqua the best because I liked Archie better than, uh, what was the other one called? Maxi, I want to say. I don't know. I don't know if I'm right. But yeah, I liked Archie better. And, um, wow, already 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, so, um, yeah, I, I liked Archie better. I liked how he had the bandana thing around his head. And I liked the aqua base better. Because, uh, the whole teleporter thing and the water and the. Yeah. I know, I know you got the master ball from aqua base. And I don't know wh where you got it in Ruby. Most likely the uh, magma base. But I, d I do like how you got into the magma base. How you had to take that emblem to that place in the fiery path or whatever it was called. The thing that goes down from the mountain to... Uh, what was it? Uh, geez, I forgot the town. Uh, Whatever. Wasn't Lavender Town. No, it wasn't that. Uh, or was it? I don't know. Laverage Town. That's it. That's it. Laverage Town. Um, I didn't, f like, I'm pretty sure that's where they introduced lava cookies. Uh, I just <laughs> thought that was kind of f funny. Never really thought it was that useful. But, um, I also liked how your father was a gym leader. That's something they hadn't done. Um, and, yeah, I liked the starters, too. Except, meh, maybe. Trico, I'm kind of iffy about. I know a, l a lot of people like Trico the best, but I also have a Mudkip on, I mean, uh, not a Mudkip, uh, Marsh Tomp on my team, as well as my Blaziken. 
Um, maybe for one of my discussions, I'll do my team. I don't. I don't know. I mean, that might be a good idea. But um, this is going by a lot quicker than I thought it would. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to talk about. Um, oh, oh, I know that um, Evergrande City. I mean, I like that. It wasn't a city. How you had to go up the waterfall to get to it. Oh, and Sutopolis City. Dive. You had to dive to get to it. That, I thought, was really innovative. Like, making the HM dive, you had to go under the water instead of surfing on top of it. I liked I liked that underwater scene. They did that really well, in my, in my opinion. Moss Deep City was probably my favorite city. <laughs> and, uh... I remember when I was um, younger, when I was first playing the game, there was always that rumor on the internet how, like, in the Moss Deep City, where you go to the uh, the launch station for um, the rocket, if you get uh, and each time you talk to the guy, the ro- the launch number goes up and up every day, and once you got to a hundred, the rocket would take you to the moon and you could get Deoxys. Um, and I actually did uh, tried that. I got to 100, and I was so disappointed because, um, oh my gosh, a rumor I heard heard on the internet wasn't true. Um, there's a shocker. So, um, yeah, I was pretty naive back then. I remember I think uh, Michael was helping me with it, too. We were both trying to do it. Um, yeah. Wow, just talking about this is bringing back so many things I liked about the game. Um, I can't talk. Um, the Elite Four, I liked. Uh, don't ask me to name all the names. I can never remember Elite Four names. Uh, I always thought, like, the Elite Four was kind of easier than the rest of the games, because they never got harder, never progressed. They always had the same Pokemon, and they were kind of under-leveled. Um, but still, really liked it. And, uh, Fortree, blah, blah, I still can't talk. Fortree City and, um, what was the other city called? Uh, the one floating on the ocean. Whatever, the one on, you know the one I'm talking about, the one on the logs. I I like those cities, how you had to, like, cross cross the log bridges and it made the, like, click-clack sound of the logs, like, being pushed down. I like that. And that thing, like, uh... Where you talk to the guy and some days he can see Mirage Island and you could go to Mirage Island. Uh, I think I did it once. I I, I don't remember if it was an event or anything. Like I don't remember if it was, a, if it was a, you had to go somewhere to get it. If, if it was an event. But I do remember going there. Um, legendaries. Let's talk about legendaries. Oh, we're coming up on the time limit here. Uh... So let's just end off on legendaries. Um, for a time, before I cared about Ubers or legendaries being in my party, I had used a Rayquaza because I didn't know about Ubers or anything because I was like seven or eight or something. Um, I used a Rayquaza. I really liked a Rayquaza. I like Kyogre better, but I just don't find it as good stat-wise and stuff. And every time I used Sheer Cold always hit. I'm not joking. It missed maybe once. Um, so we're at like 14 minutes and 5 seconds here, so I'm gonna have to actually end off. Um, so yeah, leave any thoughts on the discussion. Um, PM me, or us, I should say, or leave comments in the comment section below. And, uh, also leave topics for new discussions, weekly discussions. So what day is it? I don't know. I'll probably upload this on a different day than I record it. So, yep, this has been Ben with the Pokemon Connection. See you guys on the next discussion.